Hello dear students and welcome to this online class video. This is the first part of 14th chapter How Big How Heavy of class 5 subject mathematics and I am Jay Prakash. Let's start the class. Now let's have an overview of today's class. So today's first topic is the concept of volume and second is which has more volume. So now through this story we will try to learn the concept of volume. So let's read it. Sarika collects things like marbles, coins, erasers, etc. She takes some water in a glass and mark the level of water as zero. So here you can see the glasses are here. So she says that if I drop five marbles in this glass, can you guess what will be the level of water? So this is the level of the water where it is written zero now she is saying that she will put how many marbles five marbles so what will be the means the volume of this glass now so definitely the water will take up now the boy is saying that i think this much so he is pointing here now she drops 5 marbles in the glass. She marks the new level of water as 5 marbles. So the boy was right. So it was the level of the water now after putting 5 marbles. So oh, how did you guess? Do you know the volume of a marble? If the boy know volume of one marble, then she can easily find the what will be the uh, correct volume of this water in this glass. So that is asking Sarika. So I just made a glass about how much water will be pushed up by the marbles. So how do you find the volume? So he just uh, he just guessed. Okay, that it may be the volume of the glass. So Sarika is saying that yes, volume. It is what is volume? She is saying uh, each marble pushes up some water, right? So that is because it takes up some space which is its volume. So here we can see the definition of volume that any 3D shapes, any three dimensional shapes uh, takes some space. So that is the volume or we in another way we can say that the occupied space by uh, three dimensional shapes are called its volume. Now come to the next page. You are measuring glass. So now make a guess do you think the volume of 10 5 rupee coins will be more than that of 10 marbles so no i think uh, volume of 10 marbles will be more than 10 5 rupee coins because marbles are big in size now guess the volume of each of these so first is a ball is nearly this marbles so a ball so which ball I will take a tennis ball so tennis ball will be around uh, I think 10 marbles we have to just guess an eraser is nearly uh, about I think two marbles a lemon is three marbles nearly a pencil is nearly dash marbles so I will write two marbles a potato is nearly okay let me write 10 marbles so it is just a uh, guessing the answer may be changed according to you okay now make your own measuring glass using 35 marbles so let's see taking a glass of water and mark the level of water as zero then put in uh, five marbles and mark the level of water as 5m means if you are taking five marbles so you will mark as five marbles in the glass similarly when you will take 10 marbles so mark their 10 m 10 marble similarly 15 20 30 and 35 and so on in this way you can just mark now here is an activity and it is saying that uh, you have to take some things like uh, matchbox okay vegetables like tomato surroundings you you will collect some things and uh, you will find its volume that how many marbles it can occupy it. for example matchbox its volume will be 
ये आइट आई थिंक फाइव मार्बल्स फोर टू फाइव टोमेटो सेवन मार्बल्स नाउ कम टू द नेक्स्ट पेज विच हैज मोर वॉल्यूम दैट इज द सेकेंड टॉपिक नाउ सारी का सेंग दैट कैन यू टेल मी द वॉल्यूम ऑफ सिक्स मार्बल्स इन एम एल सो द बॉय सेंग दैट यस इफ यू मेक अ मेजरिंग बॉटल सो इन क्लास फोर we have we had made a measuring bottle so similarly that type of activity we will do here so here is a way tarik and molly made their measuring bottle how tarik had an injection he used it to make his measuring bottle molly used an empty medicine bottle so now tarik is taking Uh, an injection and its capacity is 5 ml okay and two uh, two times means twice he pour it in the bottle okay so we can write that a simple calculation we can make here tarik just put uh, two times okay uh, two times just wait let me write it properly 5 ml so the capacity of injection is 5 ml so two times when she pushed uh, it is 10 ml now yes so when he will uh, drop four times 5 ml okay so its capacity will be yes 20 ml similarly to get 30 ml how many times he will pour it as you can see here 30 is 3 times of 10 similarly uh, 3 have to multiply with 2 uh, so it it will be 2 3 ja 6 so 6 time uh, he will drop 5 ml of water by taking the same injection in this way 10 20 and 30 ml of marking he can uh, they can do easily now i used this bottle all is saying that i used this bottle which measures 10 ml to make my measuring bottle okay she is also using it for making measuring bottle now molly used her measuring bottle to find the volume of 5 rupee coins and she found that uh, 9 5 rupee coins pushed up 10 ml of water okay here he is saying that she is saying that 9 uh, 9 5 rupee coins okay that is making 10 ml of water so this is the capacity of 9 5 rupee coins so if we will take 18 18 5 rupee coins okay so what will be its capacity now yes here you can see uh, 18 is double Okay, double of nine. So, what is the double of ten? It will be twenty ml. Similarly, now let's make it uh, three times. So nine three times it is twenty-seven. So when we will take twenty-seven coins of five rupees, so it will be thirty ml because twenty-seven is three times of nine, right? So uh, what is the three times of ten? Ten three times it is thirty. So here I will ask you one question. Then, uh, how many coins you will take? Okay, of five rupee. How many five rupees coins you will take to to get forty uh, ml? Solve it and write the answer in the comment section. So now, use your measuring bottle to find that what is the volume of six marbles. It's an activity. You can do it yourself now. some questions are here you can see at last e number if 30 ml water is pushed up so it is it will be how many coins i have answered it it will be 27 uh, coins okay 27 coins of 5 rupees similarly another question is here 60 ml so how much it will be so here you have to uh, Come to the first page means 10 mLs 
we are making how many coins? Uh, nine. Nine five rupee coins, right? So here you can see 60 ml. It is given. 60 ml. Let me write it properly first. Okay, 60 ml. So here you have to check that 60 is how many times of 10? So yes, it is 6 times. So similarly, we have to get uh, 6 times of 9. So it is 9, 6, uh, 54 times. So here we will write 54 coins of 5 rupees. It will uh, make. So in this way we have write its answer. The question is now completed. In this way, let's over today's class. See you all in the next video. Till then be safe, be healthy. Jai Hind.